Hey everyone, so I was super excited to jump on this IKEA greenhouse cabinet trend and I went and did an IKEA um, plant tour, just wanted to see what plant related things they had and then they finally had a cabinet. Now they did not have the Millspo, which is the big trendy one that you're seeing everywhere, but you know, a girl had to get what she could get, okay? So I got the Fabricor and I just set it up. I was so excited. I just threw all my plants in there. So I just want to give you guys just a quick view. This is not anything fancy. It's definitely something that you can do on a budget because uh, I'm on a budget. I need to save my money for my plants. So I definitely did that. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I did to make my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. Stay tuned. So here I have my beautiful Fabricor cabinet that I got, I believe I paid $189 for this. So this one is a tad cheaper than the Millsbo cabinet. I like this one because it was tall and so I wanted to make sure I had room for some of my taller plants like my Monstera Deliciosa. This one is a propagation and it has been struggling to put out a new leaf for months now so hopefully the extra humidity can help it out. I also have um, my Calathea and if you have Calatheas you know how thirsty they are and how ridiculously high maintenance they are so I did end up converting this one into LECA. You can check the video um, description to see that video um, but since I converted it and put it in this cabinet it's doing much better. I also have my Friedach um, and my Alocasia Amazonica or my um, Alocasia Poly in there because they like high maintenance um, high humidity as well so my fry deck is back here chilling she died all the way um down to the bulb so she's coming back so hopefully the extra humidity will help her you know thrive and survive um so i have some propagations um right here just some sphagnum moss with some some nodes and some pothos cuttings and i have a Satin pothos or syndapsis pictus right here. And then let's see what I have. I have, sorry, the lighting is terrible. I have a Hoya, what is that? Crimson princess or crimson queen. I'm not sure the difference. And then I have a Chinese money plant propagation in there with another dying bulb of alocasia. Let me open this up so you guys can see. So it comes with a little little lock. So that's cute. Um, so I have a Hoya, a Hoya Hindu rope back there. Because Hoya's like a lot of humidity. And then I have a Hartley philodendron propagation back there. So um, I decided to put a fountain in here instead of a humidifier because I don't want my plants getting overly wet. Um, some people put the humidifiers in here, but they only have them go off like 10 minutes a day, four times a day. Um, I have to find a small humidifier that I can control like that. So in, in the meantime, I like the look of the fountain. Um, it's doing the trick. And I have my humidity reader here. Now, because of the fans that I have in here, the, but without the fans, the humidity was like 70 something. And now I have the door open, so it's dropping. But um, 65, 70 is definitely a big improvement because normally my house is only um, like 40, 39%. So these are my high maintenance plants. Even my, my bathroom at the most, you know, is like 50% humidity. So this is definitely for my plants that I'm struggling with right now. I have a, what is this? I don't know if this is a Enjoy or a Manjula pothos um but i don't know it had an infection and so it's coming back so that's why i have that in here and i have a hoya propagation and a what is this philodendron rojo congo propagation uh alocasia zebrina that died i just cannot keep uh, alocasia to save my life and then i picked up this philodendron birkin on the clearance rack. I just got it for the pot. So, I mean, if it if it survives, then, you know, 
that's good but if not I got a cute pot out of it um, and then back there I have another Chinese money plant and a um, lemon lime I'm sorry y'all I'm out of breath why am I out of breath lemon lime um, pothos back there so I have two fans hanging and I just used um, some little wire twisty ties to secure them to the holes it's like a hole right here and so I hung one right there and so that these fans are like the computer fans so it came two in a pack I will be sure to link them in the description below um, and then the other one I have where is it um, down there so I need to secure it what is that a fungus net of course um, I need to secure it better to the wall I got some command hooks so I'm going to do that as well and then I have two grow lights that came two connected on one and then I, where's the other one right here and it has three different settings which way is up yeah so it has three different settings and it has a timer so at night you can tell that it's not very bright so I think I'm going to go ahead and add a, another light here now all of this is strung through a hole my husband um, drilled a hole for me so I will insert a video of that as well um, just to show you the process of that and so all of that is strung here and it's on this smart power plug strip. So each one you can control individually. And so there's an app so you can put it on a timer and, and all of that. So I haven't gotten that far yet, but yeah, I just wanted to show you my initial setup. So let me go ahead and show you some of the um, process that we did, which is not a lot of clips. It's just mainly the whole and me um, displaying the light. So I'll go ahead and do that and then meet you back in a minute. Okay, here my husband is just drilling the initial hole um, and the hole is to make sure all the cords can go down below. So we found a drill bit specifically to drill through metal. Um, and this was actually a pretty quick process. It took less than like three minutes so I'll be sure to link that below he started with the smallest um, drill bit and then he went back in with a larger drill bit so you'll see that in a minute what the lights look like there's two lights on one cord and it has a USB and then this is what the plug looks like all right and then it also comes with these little peel and stick strips um, so you just peel it put it on the back and then stick it to where you want it to go so I'm just going to do that now Untangle it. All right, so, yep, just put it on the back as evenly as you can. And, okay, so, okay, so. All right, so right here. So that is plugged in. Okay, so I don't know if you can see those different levels. Okay. Okay, so that's dim and then that's the bright one. All right, so I just don't know where the second one should go um, because it's glass, it can shine through here, but I just feel like this bottom layer is not getting enough light so, hmm, I don't know. I don't know where I want to put it. Let's see. Hmm. 
all right so I think I have decided to just put it on this bottom row because this middle row is going to get the light from here and it's going to get some um, dapple light is that the word filter light it's going to get some light from up there whereas this one is not really getting that much light um, so I'm going to go ahead and place this here now that I realize this, I probably should have done one like over there and one over here. But what's done is done. So I'm just gonna stick that that way, like so. All right, and so I just want to straighten up these cords. They look crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, fix this in here so it looks a little better. And then I need to find another solution somewhere down the line. Um, well, firstly, my husband said we need to get some type of, I think he called it a grummet, um, to put around here so that the cords are not um, getting sliced. Or a temporary solution could be to put some tape around there. But as long as nobody's doing a bunch of pulling, they should be okay for now. And then I just need to find like a neater, you know, like a neater way to hide and cover these. I don't know, maybe a piece of tape I'm not sure I'm creative I'm sure I'll figure it out but right now it's not um, that big a deal to me um, but I do want to maybe take I don't know I need to I need to straighten it out I have some thinking to do but next I'm going to try to secure this fan a little better okay so I got these um, command strips and I'm going to I got the one with the hook because the back of the fan has a hook right there um, so I'm going to just try to secure it and hope it all goes well and see how it goes all right so I have the fan up here it is secured to the best of my knowledge on this command strip um, so I just took the hook and um, went through the wire so just be careful that you know you're not going too far back because you don't want it to um, get stuck I also forgot to mention the fan does have um, multiple settings as well so it has the high medium low and then off so at first I had it on high and I noticed that the humidity was like only in the 50s so I just turned it down low and then I noticed that it um, is much better with the humidity so yeah, so next, I guess my next thing that I need to do that I'm not gonna film now um, is just secure these wires so that they don't look so crazy. But that is pretty much it, you know? Um, everything was pretty much done within a day. It took my husband maybe like 30 minutes to set it up, so. I do appreciate you coming along just for my quick um, Ikea greenhouse cabinet tour. I know it wasn't an in-depth tour, but I don't know, I found it interesting. So hopefully you did too. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and then comment below that you subscribe so I know you did it. I really appreciate your support. It's my brand new channel. I'm trying to grow to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> At the time of this video, I have like 87 subscribers, so I got a long ways to go. So help your girl out, please. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I appreciate you once again. And until next time, happy planting.